Hey, welcome to Tour de Zwift 2023 Stage 2. I'm in Category C. Uh, every Tour de Zwift stage has three different categories of three different difficulties. I did the C category, which is the easiest, quickest difficulty. Uh, if you're new to Zwift, let me guide you around the screen. Top left corner, we have my current watts. That's just how much power I'm doing. Top middle, we have my current speed, how far we've gone in terms of miles. I'm using Imperial, so it's miles per hour and miles how long it's taken us in the top right, so you can see this clip is highly sped up. And then in the bottom is how much longer we have to go, and you can see a progress bar in blue for that. Top right hand corner, we have the mini map. That'll show the current gradient in the top right of the mini map. Right below that, we have our current position. We have 1,001 riders in today, and then you can see the riders that are directly around me below that. In the bottom, you will see currently scrolling across is a graph of what my power has been previously and what i'm currently putting out so that'll give you an indicator of what's going on and then in the direct center will be my character at all times if you ever lose where i'm at that's that's where i'm gonna be now what you can see even though this is the easy category i've slowed this part down on the left hand side you'll start to see other riders coming on this back straight already so that can show you just how considerably different people are in terms of their speed. Even on a category C, you guys, you guys have people that are going way faster than me and they've already finished the sprint. Now the sprint window has come up on the left. It'll show you currently who's in the lead of the sprint uh, and my best time that I've done on this particular sprint. Uh, you'll see we are passing the sprint line now and the sprint goes until this banner. So the leader currently is at 15.17 seconds. I did it in 22, I wasn't actually sprinting right there, but you can see the disparity. My best sprint is a little over 18 seconds for that amount of time. So even though I'm category C, uh, we have some strong riders. Now, just barely I got absorbed by a pack of riders. I was trying to hang out with the pack in front of this pack, I ended up getting dropped right after the sprint and I really made a mistake where I tried to hold on to the pack that's in front of us and I expended a ton of energy. I was trying to put in a lot of watts. You can probably see on the graph where I was trying to catch back up to those people. I should have just taken it a little easier, conserved my power and naturally fell into this group that I'm in right now. Instead, I got dropped, I tried to expend, I got a little burnt out and then these guys caught up to me and enveloped me. So now I'm just trying to hang on. At this point, I've accepted I'm gonna come in around 700. My goal for this ride is to end in the top 700 people. So right now I'm right around 690. I want to hold and maintain that. But here's the problem. And you can see there are people that are turning that corner. So there are people way ahead of where I'm at right now. It's just insane the level of difference some people have on the bike compared to me. I'm fairly new to this, but I, I can hold hold my own pretty well. So the pack that had enveloped me, they're beginning to drop me now. And I do the same mistake where I try and push really hard just to maintain with that pack. I should have been more smart. I should have learned my lesson the first time and should have just naturally fallen back. Right here, I am pushing the win myself. I'm not drafting off of anybody. The name of the game in a group ride like this is to stay with a group. If you're going alone, sure, I'm going 21 miles per hour recently, but that group ahead of me is probably going 23, 24. They have considerable speed amongst, uh, uh, over me. So if you're not able to draft with a group you're going to get dropped and you can see this mini group formed right in front of me i dropped from 185 now i'm in this group that's about 190 to 700. so i have to if i want to stay in the top 700 maintain with this group i it's kind of a do or die situation i spent too much time on my own not getting a draft off of anybody where i burnt a ton of energy just trying to maintain with groups that I should have just let go ahead of me and fallen back into the group behind and save some energy. So right here we have a pretty decent pace going on. Uh, it's a downhill spot. Now, I'm 205 pounds, so downhills, you know, compared to somebody that's say 160 pounds, I go downhill much faster. Gravity's pulling on a lot more than I am. The problem is on uphills, which this section has some uphill on it, there's a lot more weight I have to push. And you can see at this point, 
since I had those two times where I was riding pretty much solo and I wasted all that energy, I'm trying to get back and I got completely destroyed by another group of people. So at this point, I've almost accepted I'm not going to make it into the top 700. At this point, I'm just barely grasping on straws. We're coming up to the end of lap two. I'll have one more lap. I want to be in the group in front of this one, but, you know, I've fallen into this, this group. Not much I can do there other than just hold on. And it's to the point where I'm sitting here thinking, okay, this group of people will probably put me past one or 710. My goal now is just to get 710. I've kind of put past the idea of getting to top 700. I don't think that's possible at this point. So it's any little victory that I can get 710. We're coming back to the downhill area again. This is where being 205 pounds gives me a slight advantage. You can see I'm gaining positions on these people in the downhill area, but we're going to be turning a corner up here. We're going to go straight into the uphill and it's going to be a battle. I'm going to put everything that I possibly can to can into this last uphill area just to maintain with this group. Now this group had caught up to some people in front of us. Now you can see I'm back down to 690. This group was actually flying really well. We're catching some people. We're getting to the end of the race. There are a lot of people that have just completely gassed out. You can see us flying right by them. So my hopes of top 700 have kind of come back. I'm thinking it's quite possible I can do this. But we get to this uphill section. I'm completely gassed and I'm just losing the group. Losing the group one more time. So that's the second time I've lost a group on that uphill section. I'm 700 right now, getting passed by a lot of people. I am completely winded. My power has dropped to like 120s. You saw it for a second in the top left-hand corner. If you look at the chart at the bottom, you can see it went blue for a second. I really dropped the power. I'm currently sitting one or 710, hope, hoping that I can maintain this. If I can pass this person I'm coming up to, that almost guarantees I'll get 710. I'm at 709. Super excited. Here's the final sprint. We just barely passed that sprint line. The race will end at that banner. Now, technically, it's not a race. Technically, it is. I wasn't going in with the idea that I was racing. I just wanted to push hard, see what I could get. Right here, that guy flies past me. So I'm 710, and I'm thinking, here we go. I'm putting in a ton of watts, and at the line, I get passed to be 711. We went 12 miles. I did it in 33 minutes, 44 seconds. My average watts for that whole time was 7, 174. Uh, nothing crazy by any stretch of the imagination. Completed Tour de Zwift 2023. Got some socks out of the deal for my avatar. But I felt really good. I feel like... You know, there were a couple of mistakes I made where I was riding alone for too long and wasted too much energy, but I pushed really hard. I, I really tried my best. I, I felt strong. Record 12 seconds, 0.91 for the sprint. And my record's 18.4, I think. So really strong people in this category. It was a fun race. I love the fan flats on Zwift. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these uh, reviews of my rides, let me know. But I will catch you next time.